Hey y'all, this is Alec and Cindy from Sharing the Journey. Who remembers your mom using a crock pot? Well, we get a lot of interest on how do we cook in such a small space. And so, Cindy's here as our number one chef again. Yeah. And uh, she's going to be doing stew beef with vegetables. And she's going to be cooking it in this crock pot. And I'll have to look it up, but this crock pot is a three or four quart crock pot so it's smaller all our stuff is smaller in the camper because we have less space and then we have this rice cooker she's already cut up the vegetables and uh, there's the long grain rice and the stew beef mix and the uh, cornstarch and so, you realize you don't know anything about what you're talking about I know that's why I was lifting the camera up <laughs> so you could tell us what's going on now Cindy's prepared everything tonight we have to work tomorrow so she'll put it in the refrigerator tonight and then tomorrow morning before we go to work what do you do do you just throw it in the crock pot and turn it on <laughs> I'm just waiting to see if you know what to do because you don't do it <laughs> just curious all right so the night before I usually prepare everything so the next morning when I get up I can just throw it all in the crock pot and let it cook and simmer all day so what have you That's prepared the glory of the crock pot um, so I've cut the celery onions and carrots so how much celery how much onions how much carrots yes okay about <laughs> this much I usually do about a half of an onion, about one to two stalks of celery, and just however many carrots you like. You see we have as many carrots as we do the other because I really like cooked carrots. So Which is that, weird because you hate vegetables. I, I know, right? Um, and you don't have to film this part, but... Well, guess what? <laughs> And I usually use right at a pound of stew meat when I put it all together. So this says 1.16 pounds, $8.10. All right, so tomorrow morning when I get up, a lot of people brown their, their meat or sear it or whatever before they put it in the crock pot. I don't do that. I'm not a professional cook. So, but she has stated a Holiday Inn Express. No, I didn't. I stated a Quality Inn. And that was, was the bad. last one. It was bad. You're right. <laughs> so, I usually just do this the night before, thaw my stew meat out, um, and put it all in the fridge. First thing in the morning, we'll put it all together. We'll show you a clip of that when we get up in the morning. So when they grow grocery shopping, what other things they need to buy before besides celery, onion, carrots, and stew beef? I'm going to go over that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I use, because I told you before that I'm a lazy cook, so I buy seasoning packets. I personally like the McCormick beef stew packet. I don't know. I just think it's the taste the best. But to each his own. I always use the long grain rice. Um, and I use cornstarch. Any kind of cornstarch you want to use. I use that to thicken the gravy. Because I like my stew meat with rice. A lot of people will put potatoes in with their stew meat. I don't do that because I only need one starch because I'm a little fluffy. So, <laughs> um, and I do like to use a crock pot liner. It just makes cleanup a lot easier. And um, so we'll bring you back in the morning and show you how we put it all together. I'm not an early riser. That's why I do all this prep the night before is so I can throw it all in there and run it get ready for work and run out the door so I like to use these um, crock pot liners if you find any that are small enough for this please make a comment because 
I haven't been able to find any. And I did some research last night, and this is the crock pot branded crock pot, and it is four quart. I put a link down below if you don't have a crock pot or you want a smaller crock pot for your smaller spaces. And what I like about this one is the pot that it is removable for cleaning, but. I like to conserve water and all that and not have to worry too much about it. But these are huge. Are huge. I haven't found any that fit it specifically. So I just kind of fold the ends in, fold it over the sides and just kind of make it fit. So if anybody knows where we can find smaller crock pot liners please put it in please the let us know. comments below because we would love to purchase those um so i rinse my meat throw it in the crock pot and i know a lot of cooks will say oh you sear the meat it locks in the flavor Plenty of flavor. We've never had problems doing it. The quick, I've got 10 minutes before I get to work. I got to put this together method. <laughs> so the meat is in the crock pot. Then I throw all my vegetables in. The vegetables we cooked. We cut. Cut. Oh my gosh. The vegetables that we cut last night, get those in there. See how full the crock pot is? And it's almost full. Of Already. goodness. Yes, it will be. So, the good old McCormick seasoning packet. Which I've listed that stew. below too. <laughs> it's the best. It's our favorite. We've tried other brands. We've tried the Great yeah. Value, the HEB, um, other brands that we've seen out there, and none of them have the flavor that the McCormick's has. Yeah, I just prefer McCormick's. And I try to stir it and dissolve it. Doesn't necessarily dissolve very well. And two cups of water, like it says. And see all the spices in there? I don't know what kind of spices are in there. They're beef stew seasoning know, spices. Right? And then I just pour that in. Oh, and look at and all the see? spices at the bottom. Yes. So, how much liquid do I have in there? Oh, I've got a good bet. Okay. What do you do with the leftovers? So I'm going to put a little bit more water in this. Just to kind of rinse that out good. We don't want to leave any of the spices in there. And I like to fill my... Because I'm going to use it for gravy later. I need more water, baby. Trying to help. I know. So really it ends up being about three cups of water. I just fill, fill it. it. And so I've got it full. I mean, it's not over the rim, but it's pretty darn close. That's why I put everything in ahead of time is so I know how much liquid I can add to it. But like I said, I like to make that into gravy. So I'm gonna put the lid on it. I'm gonna put it on low. And these liners, if this gets bubbling good, I just kinda do it up on the sides. Any liquid will kinda catch in there. And save the so mess have a mess later. So why do you put it on low and not high? If I'm going to be in the camper for a little while, sometimes I put it on high for like an hour 
but if I'm rushing out the door to go to work, I just put it on low. And because we work an eight hour shift here at the campground. And it cooks low and slow. Low and slow. So when we get back from work, we'll use our rice cooker and cook rice, thicken and the gravy. How to thicken the gravy. And eat. All right, so when we came home for lunch, I stirred it. See how hot and bubbly it is? I wish we had smell-o-vision. I, I wish know, right? that video lets you smell it. Man, that looks good. It's been simmering all day. It looks yummy. And it smells good. So, I need to um, thicken the gravy. Where's my whisk? You put it in here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My trusty assistant. Okay, so I use this little baby sifter. Um, and I use cornstarch to thicken my gravy. So one of the things about in an RV, living in a motorhome or a travel trailer or whatever full time, is that most of our utensils and our cookware and everything is smaller because we only have what do you have three drawers over there that handle yeah all your kitchen utensils and stuff so i just sift the cornstarch and and then i whisk it and i usually do i like my gravy kind of thick So I usually end up doing about two to three tablespoons, but I just do a little bit at the time to me. I know some people use flour, stuff like that. I have found that cornstarch, I guess the word would be dissolves better and doesn't clump if you don't get flour dissolved good it clumps all right so we'll bring it back in once this is thickened and she starts the rice all right so i decided to get a rice cooker i'd never really used a rice cooker before um until we moved into the rv i always did it the old-fashioned way on the um, stove top um so it's pretty much the same as if you were doing it on the stove top um you do two cups of water in the rice cooker Now with the rice cooker, the rice seems to come out more consistent every time with less effort, right? I think so. Um, and this is just long grain rice. Yeah, just plain old long grain rice. I know a lot of people use like a um, instant rice or quick cook rice or minute rice or something like that. I don't do that. I prefer not to. I like the old fashioned way. Um, I do try to get some of the starch out of my rice. And that's the spoon that came with the rice cooker. Yes, because it does have a nonstick surface and you can't you don't want to use any metal in it um so i soak my rice see how much starch is in that and i usually do this a couple of times You can kind of see the starch coming up, rising up to the top. See all the white? 
that comes off of it. I think that's what makes your rice kind of sticky sometimes. So I just rinse my rice good. I do that two or three times. It doesn't get it all out, but it does get some of it out. And we went straight to work this morning, so that's dishes from preparing this meal <laughs> and our coffee this morning. Yeah. And Again, I am the one live. that's on dish duty, and so I will wash them this evening before we go to bed. Yeah, for years I took care of the children and cooked and did laundry and everything. And now that we hit the road, my husband does the dishes. I still cook, but he does the dishes and the laundry. So we've kind of split it up. And that's probably good enough. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I just add the rice in there. I just like doing the rice cooker. Some people like rice cookers, some people don't. It just makes it a lot easier to set it and forget it. And my particular one just has a warm and a cook. So I don't plug my rice cooker in until I have my water and rice and everything in there. And I do not add any salt. Um, I figure there's enough salt in the um, gravy mix and everything else that I just find it's really not needed. And Alex salt and peppers to what he likes. <laughs> So I plug it in, it automatically turns to warm. I push it down to cook and it'll cook for like 20 minutes. And when it's done cooking, the button will automatically pop up and the warm light will come on. I turn it off immediately when it's through cooking because it tends to stick to the sides and everything and I just don't like it. Although that is non-stick pan or thing that it's in inside and the other thing you have to be careful just keep an eye on it when it gets close to end is sometimes the water will well and we can show that when it does it so that they'll see what we're talking about all right well i guess we'll be back in about 20 minutes when the rice is cooked all right so the rice is finished cooking you see it was on cook earlier and now the warm has lit lit up it is switched over and the rice just comes out just easy it's a little probably a little stickier than normal just because I didn't rinse it quite as much but I like long grain white rice I'm gonna unplug it just because it's finished cooking there's no reason for it to be sitting there it can um, burn on the bottom so I just go ahead and unplug it and it's perfectly fine the stew beef is nice and thickened see the thick Man, that gravy looks good. and um, I'll make us a plate and we'll show you what it looks like all right, so I wanted to show you how much food this really is. I mean, it makes a lot of food in that small little crock pot. Um, so I did one cup of uncooked rice. I've done Alec and I both a plate. This has rice in it as well as stew beef. And then this is extra stew beef that we have left over so i take this stew beef that's no rice for lunch and i um toast, toast two pieces of bread and i lay them on a plate and then i heat up the stew beef and i cover that and eat it with a fork and it is unbelievable and then this of course is just another meal so um we like to use these Oh, what are they called, honey? Are they called Stay Fresh? Yes. Anyway, it's it's these glass. Um, I think they're containers. made by Pyrex. 
we'll we'll put a link but these come in very handy this glass can be um you can take it just like this pop it in the microwave or put it in the oven um you can stick this in the freezer we love these containers and then i just take the little snap lids put them on them and stick them in the fridge for leftovers but I hope you enjoyed this video. As soon as this cools down, you can literally just take this liner and throw it in the trash. And there's very little to clean up out of the um, crock pot. So yeah, I'll just wash like that liner. real fast. and. Yeah, but it's so easy. That's why I love using the liners. If anybody knows of any company that makes the one to three quart liners, I would love to know who it is and I'd love to know how to purchase them. But I'm gonna continue using these large liners. They work just fine. But if anybody knows, leave it in the comments below because I'd love to know. So we wanted to thank you all for watching the video. Um, all the cookers, the crock pot, the rice cooker and everything will list um, in the more section with our Amazon affiliate. Uh, until next time, I'm going to enjoy the food. You go cook you some good food too. Thanks. See y'all later.